Welcome back for another Curious Expedition. Last time we nearly made it to the end with Charles Darwin. I'm thinking we would try another explorer who is, let's see, Johan Huizinga, an anthropologist and one of the founders of the modern cultural history. Anthropology, anthropological studies of the indigenous cultures can be created for additional fame. So we have a sailor who will join us, a Persian translator, a donkey, two whiskey, we'll get some torches, a flare gun, a pistol, and a shovel. I think we're going to have Johan be our explorer. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor the expeditions of our most famous member? I have heard that. And word is that we have a good chance of seeing our likeness on that statue. I hope that's true. We'll be facing off against Amelia Earhart, Marcus Garvey, Nikola Tesla, and Alexandra David Neal. Now let's go explore. All right, so they're in the grasslands, grasslands, grasslands. Everybody is in, ooh, Marcus, horrible grasslands. So everything is in the grasslands. Let's go ahead and start our expedition. After being too excited to sleep, I arrived at the harbor. The captain had yet to arrive, so I saw if there was anything I could do. A trader approached me with a request. He needed to have a message delivered to the chief of a village located in the region we were headed to. He handed us a letter, which I promised to deliver. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that the vessel was ready to head for the distant shores. All right, let's see if we can fare better this time around than we did with Charles Darwin. Maybe we should attempt to deliver the letter first. Conveniently, the man had pinpointed the location of the village on our map. I agree. Let's head that way. A little bit of a jungle to get through there. Let's enter the village. Today we reached a village. The villagers were a true sight. Well-armed and formidable warriors. Upon our arrival, some villagers were busy with decorating a peculiar-looking idol that stood in the center of their settlement. We tried to not disturb their doing while unpacking our crates. A peculiar stone, stone, a peculiar stone idol stood in its center. The villagers observed us with caution. They were polite and offered us what they could. Thanks to Riyadh Kerr and his ability to translate, the villagers would allow us to rest here. Let's go ahead and deliver the letter. We brought the letter to the village chief. The elderly man was a compulsive talker and told us about the best sights to see in the vicinity, including a holy shrine, which he marked on our map. We felt more than welcome, and the villagers were seemingly excited about our presence. A small boy laid down some food by the idol. Um, let's see if we can recruit a party member. We asked around to see if someone was interested in joining our trek. No one wanted to join our trek. However, one of the elder villagers insisted in offering us one of the smallest donkeys we had ever seen. Let's recruit the donkey. We felt comfortable in the midst of the overdroid villagers. And let's rest in the village. As darkness fell, the natives lit a campfire and invited us to sit with them. This night, the villagers held a ritual ceremony. They offered us a bowl with boiled food that had a disgusting stench to it. It looked a, a bit like monkey meat. Let's eat. We accepted their offer and passed around the bowl. Um, let's study the culture. I spent more time this evening on an anthropological analysis with the natives' permission. I spent the rest of the evening measuring their body parts and making sketches of their features and clothing. Let's steal the idol. And let's go ahead and close that. We snatched the idol without being seen and quickly ran from the village. All right. Oh, wow. There is a shrine way, way over there. Let's go ahead and make haste. Oh, there's a waterfall there. Can we get there from here? Huh. Let's see if we can get through that jungle there. We're going to need a place to rest at some point. It's going to be close. Let's explore. We arrived at a magnificent waterfall. It was an awe-inspiring sight. The water was fresh and cool. Let's rest overnight. 
I decided it would be a good idea to stay here and told the people to rest. We were at the brink of collapse. We barely managed to collect enough wood to light a campfire. This night, Cyrus Parnell had a conversation with someone who was clearly not there. That would be the sailor that has joined us. Yep, let's rest up. After days of resting, we still enjoyed the rumbling of the waterfall. Let's go ahead and leave. Last time I would try to uh, get completely rested up. Let's go to this. Yeah, let's go to this point right here. Well, that's going to prove to be a problem. Can we? Let's go back this way. We're going to be a little bit crazy, but there will be a waterfall there. Let's try and rest again. Maybe resting is the right idea. Cyrus Parnell lost his composure. He babbled continuously about being watched and soon started screaming wildly. After a while, we were able to calm him down, but the situation has been very stressful for the whole group. All right, as we prepared to de for departure, I knew we would miss the gentle noise of the falling water. The natural beauty of this place was breathtaking. All right, let's go ahead and we'll leave. Uh, as we departed, we became aware that our campfire had set some nearby bushes alight. Before we knew what had happened, the fire began to spread. Um, no, we want to leave. Uh, let's see here. Let's travel. We're going to be a, a little bit crazy at this point. Can we drink? There we go. That got our sanity back up. Let's travel to this shrine. And let's examine the shrine. We arrived at a majestic structure, seemingly a holy shrine to the inhabitants of the region. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. The portal that led within emanated an eerie chill. I could swear I heard the sound of rushing water. Let's enter the shrine. Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its center. And there was a golden llama. Awesome. We grabbed the treasure and hurried outside as an enormous fountains of water broke through the ground and started to flood the whole area. We had to run for our lives to not drown in the huge lake that began to form. Um, well, this is going to prove interesting, to say the least. Hopefully there is something at this question mark that will help us. Yes, it's the shrine! All right, the, there was the Golden Pyramid, enthroned above the landscape, overcoming all the obstacles we had yet survived. We entered the pyramid. After weeks of traveling, euphoria overcame me. I knew that my name would be forever remembered. Yes! All right, our current fame is 10. We found the Golden Pyramid, plus 100. Wow, two butterflies, plus 10. 47 days. 54 days, all right. Let's finish the expedition. Everyone is overjoyed that we are back and successful. Thank you, Johan. Survive a little longer when all alone. Reduce movement costs in deserts or increases the gained compass accuracy when uncovering fields. We're gonna go with that one. Woo! And the people rejoiced. All right, Marcus, although he was in the worst place, is doing well. We're going to gift the Golden Llama. We're going to gift our anthropological studies. We're going to gift the idol statue. And we are well ahead of the competition here after one episode of The Curious Expedition with Johan. I'll see you guys next time. Click like, subscribe, oh my, it's Cody!